tan 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 Easter eggs I actually got for Easter. Hooray. They look like little glasses. Hey, I'm wearing glasses. See, hey, I'm wearing glasses. Let's try the other ones. Hey, I'm wearing glasses. Yes, I'm wearing glasses. I'm wearing glasses. You know I can actually see you through these holes, right? Yeah, I'm wearing glasses. That actually hurts. We already tried the purple one. Yeah, I'm wearing glasses. And last but not least, my favorite color, pink. Yeah, I'm wearing glasses. See, eh, I'm wearing glasses. Eh, I'm wearing glasses. Eh, I'm wearing glasses. She said, No, I want all of them. And you say, What? I want all of them. So, basically, I have this, I have a flu, and I absolutely do have my Easter eggs. Let me try this one on. Hello, I got my smile and my big eye. I don't know what I'm going to do with this video, but guess what? This came on my bus. His name is Kevin. Shout out to him. He's one of my homies. And basically, for the past, uh, because yesterday and today, he's been flicking off the bus. And I'm like, ah, I'm high. When he leaves, because, because he's a dope ass. One time he even flicked off the police. I'm not even kidding. What, because this is my first year in school, and people have told me many times, this kid, he's in second grade, and in first grade, he did all these things. He he cursed, he stuck up the middle finger to, to basically everyone. He cursed, he stuck up the middle finger to basically everyone, and he flicked off the police, so. Let's just add 10 points to that. Hold the cow. Uh... I'm gonna go close my door because I think there's a ghost in here or something. Sorry, my family is from another country. My parents are from another country and will. There comes my brother. Cuban, my family is very special. Let's let's say my family is very special, and you know we got the. And I made two Easter eggs, and I made two Easter made of two Easter eggs. Where'd I put the pink one? I got one big eye and one small eye. I don't know why I'm not getting over that. Right off the red nose reindeer. Always had a shiny nose. And it's actually pink because you're colorblind. <laughs> it should be Rudolph the pink nose reindeer. Always had a shiny pink. And if you ever see him, 
You could even say it pinks. So, let me just back this camera up for right now. You might be asking, what are you filming on? Oh my god, because I want to be a YouTuber too. I'm filming on my phone. Rich person that can buy a grow pro, that can buy a grow pro on the weekend or whatever. No. I stopped the video because my mom was calling me, and well, we're going someplace, so I'm gonna go brush my hair. See you later. Peace. Okay, so it turns out we're not going anywhere because. Do you hear that? That's rain. Do you hear now? I don't know why I just showed you right here. So, basically, I'm going to start turning this camera around like this because, well, you might be asking, why am I looking that way? Because I'm looking at the screen. So, yeah. This is very confusing. It's very hard. Because of the simple fact that if I look at the screen, you think that you can see. I'm having a good time, having a good, having a good time. Hey, yeah. You might be asking. Why is the sun in the video change? Well, first off, sorry for the close up. Second of all, you're gonna have to deal with my eyes being like this. So, yeah. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a paper fortune teller. So, let go. Hey guys, so we are making a paper fortune teller. Hooray! So, yeah, we're making a paper fortune teller. Uh, let's just put the camera like this. So, let's get started. So, let me flip the camera. Actually, yeah, yeah I'm going to swing the camera around. It's the best thing to do. Hey, I just made a paper fortune teller. It was awful. So, I'm going to make a second one with y'all. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Uh, let me just show y'all. So, we got this paper, right? Right there. We got the paper. Right here. So, basically, what we're going to do is make it a square. Like this. Then, we're going to cut this part. So then, our stuff will look, oh yeah, and please try not to cut crookedly, because, tell me, because literally, I cut crookedly, and my last time turned out awful. So yeah, you're going to get this shape when you cut it out. And then, you know, just open it, you get a square. Now fold the square. Now that you've folded it this way, fold it basically into a triangle but the opposite way than last time. So, yeah. No. That's what I hate when you make a crease and you think it's perfect, but then you find out it's not perfect. So you try to make another crease and then it just goes back to the old crease and it sucks. And then your thing sucks because you suck at folding. It's all your fault and you hate yourself then. So, yeah, now you get this. Wait one second, I'm gonna check something. Oh, yeah, so you get this. Then you're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to choose to fold it one way. I recommend, you know, the way that your folds are facing in. So, so, later on, it will turn into, like, this shape. 
So yeah, just keep it this way, and then put it uh, this way, and then the same way as it creases, just fold it in half. Yeah, just fold it in half. So yeah, just fold it in half like that. I get this. So then you're gonna grab this, and you're gonna do this. Just put the corners in the middle. Yeah, at least I'm pretty sure. We'll see what we make. So yeah, you know, just grab your corners, put them in the middle. And we did this wrong. Not like bad wrong, but like we did this wrong. The paper's supposed to be on in its form like a square. So but we're doing it right, so just put these in the middle and then flip the paper around. Then then put so you're gonna get this because you're gonna fold the corners into the middle. And then you're gonna flip the paper around and fold these corners into the middle. So we're gonna do that right now. Yeah. Try to get the the fold even because uh, this mostly the this is literally a piece of freaking origami. Don't ask me how I know to make a por paper fortune teller. And if you really want to know, I can tell you, but you're going to have to go to the community tab for that. Oh yeah, so let me talk about the community tab. The community tab is where basically I can talk to you and you can talk to me. So, like my friends at school, they can't talk to me when I get back from school. But they could talk to me through the community tab because it's my YouTube channel. So yeah, let's get back on topic. Now that you have this folded in half, and I remember those creases. Yep, fold those to the middle. And if you did, and if you forgot, and you know you messed up yours, then just crease it again. So, so basically, just fold your tri your square into a triangle, and then grab your triangle that you just fold it and fold it again the opposite, the other way, and make a triangle again that way. So yeah, now you got this. So then, so then, and if you got it wrong again. Then just do it again. So hooray, good for me that I suck at making a paper fortune teller, even though I'm trying to teach you how. Uh, this is stupid. So yeah, now that you've creased yours again, just put these creases into the middle so you can make a little square like I told you in the beginning somewhere over there. So yeah, I normally just push them in and just make a weird, just kind of make this shape and then grab this side and do this because if you still got it wrong after creasing it like a 15th time. So now, open up this again, write the numbers 1 through 8, so 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Actually, I wrote my signature, which is basically an eight, but like that. That's what I created to be my signature. So yeah, just fold your paper in half, make the triangle shape I told you, but first, pick four colors. I'm picking, uh, no, no, I'm not picking this color. It's too long to spell. Uh, I was going to choose gold, but that's way too long to spell. 
Wait, but I'm pretty, but I'm putting purple, so sure, I'll put gold. Screw it. So, gold, where are you? There you are. I'm putting the gold with the pink. Yes, I'm putting pink. I'm putting the colors that I think look pretty. And also that are easy to spell. I'm also going to put some red on here, some sparkly red. So, where is my sparkly red? There it is. No, that, that isn't it. So, now, we're just, you know, going to color this. So, yeah. And also, after this, go to the community tab so I can talk to you. Uh, so, yeah. And I'm also today at the end of the video giving shout outs, so heads up for that. Now that you've colored your sides, fold it in half, and then make the little cone shape that I told you at the beginning. Then grab the colors, you know, these little folds, grab the bottom, face it out. And there you have it, your paper fortune dollar. But I did not tell you one step, because this is a, the step that you get to do. Well, that that people might do differently. Now you get to create the messages, so just open up your thing again. I'm going to write, yes, no. So 7 and 8 is yes, 1 and 2 is no. Three and four is maybe. Five and six is duh. So yeah, just you guys go back in. And I messed up these corners so bad. Like literally, this does not. And I, when I say does not, I mean it does not. Went to, you know, do the, 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 the thing. So, yeah. And now you got a paper fortune teller. Paper fortune teller. Paper, paper, fortune, fortune teller. This is just as bad as the one I previously made. So, let me just put this one back in form. So, mm, mm, mm. How come you don't work? This one actually works better than the one I just made. So now I have three fortune paper tellers that I made. So yeah, that's basically the video. But now, shout outs. So shout outs to my friends. There is Tonight Bonnet. Don't ask me why. But just don't ask me why I'm laying down. So as I was saying, shout out. Tonight Bonnet. Tonight Bonnet. Right there. Then there is Marina Mormon. It's either Marina, sorry, Marina Myers. Marina Myers. There's Sherry, there's Sherry Greer, Layla Ellery, and Layla Duke. So those are shout outs for today. Peace.